dun 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 evening. Hello. Hello, everybody. Lovely to see you. Thank you very much. I'm Dean the and Biker. You know that. You've already come here. Um, so good evening and welcome to another Monday Night Live. And thank you so much for joining us. Very kind. Very kind. As always, what's going to be happening tonight is the first 10 minutes are going to be me saying hello to people in the chat. So let me know where you're from. I'm always interested to know that one. And then once we've done that, we'll get into the bulk of the vlog, which obviously I've not taken notes for. And then after that, we'll be meeting up with Mr. Todd and having a chat about whatever pops into our little brains because we've done no preparation. So, you know, hopefully it'll all be good. Let's, we'll wing it. We'll wing it. Yeah, we'll hope it'll work out in the end. Now, Mr. Todd will be in chat spannering away, so no self-promotion, no promoting your channel or your juice line or your whatever um, without prior permission. And that would be uh, that would be splendid. This is the vaping internet's safe space. So no drama, no aggro, no pissing about. Just a couple of bellends talking to you about vape gear. So hopefully you enjoy it. Thank you very much for coming along for the ride. Now let's have a little look and see what's going on in chat, shall we? Let me move my little chat window up here so i can see what's what and uh, right here we go then what's up from Iceland? says billy the kid what's up from england um hello from los angeles here all right daniel how you doing thank you very much indeed uh, uh keith black vapors vaping bigfoot from ohio jason gwinden from new brunswick evening all from a hot and sweaty western super mayor says james norcutt i made that window a little bit too small here we go um uh, Cameron Edgar. I hate not being able to not look at the camera when I'm doing this. So I, I do apologize. Um, <laughs> hey, where was Edgar from? Oh, fuck, I've lost myself. Bollocks. Uh, um, uh, oh, oh, Cameron Edgar. There we go from Portland, Oregon. Uh, Legion Vapes is in the house. Thank you very much for joining us. Legion Vapes, Dominic Pelosi, OR Church from a mobile Alabama. Da -da -da. Uh, Nathan Sydenham um, Corgeth, I promote Vaping Biker. Thank you very much. To what level? Do I get a badge? Do I get a pay rise? That'd be great. Thank you very much. And uh, happy birthday. That was your birthday the other day, wasn't it, Corgeth? I think I think it was. Um, uh, Mr. T. Oh, no, he said hello to Mr. T. I don't think he said hello to me. Rude. Uh, <laughs> um, good evening from uh, Munich, says Xander, which is a fantastic name, by the way. Howdy, Dean. Just swing in to show my support. Going to be listening to the show while cleaning the house. Nice to know, Kimmy. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, what else have we got going on? Hey, I'm from Florida, says Alex Bilvin. I think. Bilvin with a double I. Let's go with Bilvin, I think. Um, what else we got going on? Aurora Vapor from Yellowknife. NT Canada. I don't know where NT is, but in Canada. The Great White North. And uh, that's just Yellowknife. That's an amazing place to live. I want to live somewhere called Yellowknife. That's that's amazing. Um, uh, hi from Steve and Helen, my favourite couple, are listening in rugby. Uh, Mabahay from the Grumpy Old Vapor from the Philippines. Is that Mabahay? Is that Filipino for hello, maybe? I don't know. Or have I just really offended a bunch of people? Um, hello, Dean. What's up? Fellow Vapors, says Enrique. Uh, George says, what's up, my man? Not much. What's up with you, sir? Everyone all right? Jolly good. Now then, what else have we got? Hey, Dean, what's up from London? Says Dave. I'm going to go with Dave rather than Dav K. It might be Dav. I don't know. Uh, sick boy's in. All right, sick boy. How are we doing? Johan is in. You bearded handsome harp. Thank you very much indeed. Evening from Gareth in Perth, Scotland. Good evening to you. Hello from Russia. As usual, Privyet, as usual. Sergey, uh, hi Dean says Gareth Martin, Michael Bodine, Michael Bodine's in, Vape Mats is in. Um, go to vapemats.com. Uh, what else have we got? South Africa checking in says Robert Fisher, hello from Germany. Hope to see you at the Hall of Vape next year. I hope to be at the Hall of Vape next year. I would like Mr. Todd to hold my hand throughout the entire situation because I'm scared of large spaces and people I don't know, but uh, that would be good. That would, I'd love to go to, to an, an away, um, uh, uh, uh convention with Mr. T. So we're both scared. We can hug each other. That'd be lovely. Um, Deborah Connor, good evening, Vape and Biker. Deborah is in Kent. Uh, what else we got? Aphidian. Aphidian Vapes. I'm going to speak about you in a little while, my friend. Uh, whole Mark, good evening from Deepest Darkness. Gloucestershire. Dean and crew, not locked in. No, I think Mr. Todd has access to the door since he bust it off. Um, i just seen your video on the Bassium, and I am sold, says Daniel Morales. Thank you very much indeed. We will have a little chat about the Bassium, obviously, because we're at that point. 
point. Roman Prickop, a high hair from Chechnya. Is that Chechnya or Chechnya? Che 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 over there. All right, Roman. How are you doing? Um, greetings from Brizzle says Andy Fairchild. Brizzle? 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 Brazil? No. I don't know. Um, Amanda Jones from South Texas, currently four foot one here. No, 41 degrees even. Sorry. <laughs> Hello from South Africa, says Rally SA. Keith Black is in Long Island in New York. Uh, Australia, Victoria for Rezuk Vapes. Oi, oi, Savaloy, says uh, Mick Blizzard. Oh, and the chat's just all gone silly. The chats, see, it does did that thing where you scroll a little bit and then it just goes fuck off and zip, up it goes. Um, oh no, I don't know what we're going. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing. I've lost. I've lost the place. I've lost it. There's a load of people. I'm just going to pick it up from there. Oh no, I might have got it. I might have got it. Even Dino, Justin from the golf club with the curry and a beer. Oh, very posh. Very posh, Reese. Hey, from Florida, says Alex. Even Alex, how you doing? Daniel Morales. Uh, Mark Kingston Schleider from Dukesbury. Uh, much love from Alabama, says Andrew Small. Thank you very much indeed. Stan Johnson's in. Whip the cork out of a bottle of Malbec. I'm in for the duration. Good man. Good man. Well done for being back on dry land and not out on a rig anymore. Stan. Um, what else we got? Hi from the freezing Cape Town. Is it cold over there? Um, that's Julian. Jure Pekka Parkinson. So crowdy in here. Absolutely. It's getting, it picks up, doesn't it? It, it? it all goes in fits and starts. I think it depends on how, how much of a social life people have. But, you know, I'm not complaining. Uh, salutations from South Gloucester, says Graham Vincent. Colin Darren. Oh, look, a proper reviewer who gets dressed before going live. Well, kind of. <laughs> Hello, Dean. Tampa wishes you a fine evening. Norfolk wishes you a fine evening, John Mueller. Uh, what's in the woods? Uh, hi, Shiznix. Hi. How you doing? Good, good cooler evening from Worthing at West Sussex. It's had a bit of a breeze, bit of a breeze going on in Norfolk, but it's still been jolly warm. It's not quite as bad, but it's, it's still pretty toasty. It's still pretty toasty. Um, what else we got? Hi from Swindon. My phone has put you on my massive TV. I would have a word with your phone and make sure it doesn't do that when you're watching porn. Um, hello, church says sick boy, Colin Aaron. I'll put you in a timeout. Oh yes, I shall. He will. He's like that. He's vicious. Um, evening Dean from the dark side of the moon. <laughs> um, uh, what else we got? Buffalo airway territory okay says okay mick uh we'll be buying uh, the bassium gave me the respect of my wife and son absolutely and you will be you, be you will be adored by many people far and wide for the for having one of those wonderful devices uh what else have we got virginia beach says enrique uh coleman alabama carolina Co coil graft uh sweden is jorgen uh even dean and all in chat says ben michael dear hello dane from wiltshire um says oh my god va abs uh, vaping obsessed uh david mottram the Pilgrim Vapes Coils man himself is in the chat. Uh, what else we got? MTN Tom is in the chat as well. We've got some coiling beasts in here this evening. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. On holiday in New Zealand, still up at 8 a.m. to watch you. you. That is commitment, James. That's commitment, and I very much appreciate it. Much love to you, sir. Uh, D. Hinwood. Hey, Dean. South Wales going on here. Good evening, Dean. From near Kings Lynn, says Simon. Thank you very much. Tim is in here. Good evening from Birmingham. A Raven Vapes from Australia. Uh, Uwe is in from Switzerland or Sweden. I think it's, I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> hello, Mr. Biker from Seattle. Uh, says Arnab Alistair Robinson is in from Northern Ireland. M16 from Solly Hull. There is still a bunch of people to go, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna. Well, I'm not gonna be able to get through you all. I'm not gonna be able to get through you all. Let me just look at a couple of highlighted ones that have started at Dean or at Vape and Biker. Good evening, Dean says MTN Tom Jones Whitlaw on holiday in New Zealand. Stuff there we go. Uh, what do we got going on here? Uh, Stan saying hello to a bunch of patrons um hello from lost wages nv what tell me is there's not there's not actually a place called lost wages is there that would be amazing um uh, brizzle that'd be bristol oic i see got you 
Um, right. Yeah. I think we are good. Now then, where's the vest? Was looking forward to seeing the sunburn. I, I didn't actually get that much sunburn today, purely because I went to go and sit out in the garden after doing a Patreon live stream unboxing, and um, and the, the neighbours had music blaring out, and it was dance music and things, and I didn't really understand it, didn't like it. So I didn't go out. So I only went out for like an hour. So I've got a bit of a pink tinge, which you won't be able to see because um, because light. Uh, but uh, but no, there is some of that action going on. And, uh, you know, what can you do? What can you do? It's my gentle, gentle, fair skin. It's it's uh, it gets attacked by this weather. <laughs> so let's have a little chat. I will try and catch you all once again. Um, if you are new, if this is your first time, when we get into the bit in about half an hour or 20 minutes, when we get into the uh, conversation with Mr. Todd, when he comes and joins me, then we will pay more attention to chat and be able to check out what's going on. If you've got any questions about anything that I talk about in the build up to that point, before you just throw the randoms in, um, then start your question at Vaping Biker. If you can put that question in uppercase, that would be splendid. Thank you very much. Now then, what have we got? As always, as always, I can't remember what has come in this week. So I'm going to, I'm going, what I'm going to do is let, let's just have a quick talk about video. So first off, the only video I've been able to get out in the last seven days, which sucks balls and makes me a terrible reviewer, is my behind the scenes on the Bassium. So thank you very much for checking that out. I think there's been about 12,000 people throw, check out the, uh, the, um, the, 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 the presentation video, but less than 4,000 have checked out behind the scenes. So either there's a bunch of people that have just got it and are cool and good to go, or there's there's a bunch of people that don't really care, but that's there in case you've not seen it, in case you don't have the notification bell on, or in case you haven't been notified, um, go across to your other channel, check out the channel after the video. <laughs> and there will be the uh, the the behind the scenes of the bassium, and basically it just goes into a little bit more detail about why it's the way it is, and it also shows some video bits of the testing process that the bassium's gone through, the vibration, the sea salt salt spray test, um, uh, and, and various bits and bobs and scratching it and things and stuff and stuff. So go and check that out if that's the sort of thing that you think you might be interested. In. I'm just gonna have a little little uh, little sip of squash. Someone said in my, uh, I think it was the vlog early on, not the vlog, the Patreon stream I did early on today that um, I should be sponsored by Robinsons. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting on board with that idea now. I've, I must have been, I've been thinking about it and I'm kind of on board. Now then, so what have we, what have I been vaping on? What have I been vaping on? Something that's giving me huge bags under my eyes, apparently. But, uh, but there we go. Uh, now then, let's have a, a little look at this one. Like I say, unless you've got questions about what we're about to talk about, then um, I will try and address everything else later on. So get ready to ask it again later. All right. Gravy. Gravy. Uh, now then, what we've got going on. So I have got the intake from Mike Vapes. Has that come in? Did I tell you about this last week? Did I tell you about this? I don't know. Um, but I've literally just thrown a wick in it and I'm a little bit concerned that it's going to be a little bit on the snug side. But, you know, we don't know. Um, we'll see what happens. But uh, no, I actually really like this tank. Um, you know me, not a huge tank guy, not really sort of into tanks. But, and I, well, and I was also super concerned, excuse me, about the way the airflow was working with this one. I wasn't sure it was going to work out overly well. Turns out it's worked out really, really well. The flavor's great on it. The uh, the, the 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 air is smooth. It's not that loud, and uh, and it's it's just worked really, really nicely. So this could be a dry hit if the uh, if the cotton's not soaked up the juice. Let's have a go. I will need to open up the airflow. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's get into it. We are in 55.5 watts, Mr. English, not 44.4, 55.5. Single coil going on in there with a 0 0.25. It's my normal dual, uh, dual core Clapton going on. So good, good. Everyone's a winner. I've been happy with that one. Happy with that indeed. That works really nicely. I've got it sitting on top of the Fine Mods um, custom DNA 200 to know 250c uh board in there with dual 18650s and i am rocking the crap out of that and it's going all right and not 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 uh 
not choked up so that's good so yes you can hear how quiet that is it's not and what i like about that is with a lot of tanks and and i've tried i've tried a couple of area tanks recently and i've had that do you understand what i mean when i say about a a kind of a hollow sound do you know what i mean when you i'll ask mark about this later on but when you're sucking in the tank you get like this hollow high-pitched metallic sound which generally is it, it, it's it's like i don't know i, I was going to say it's like you're breathing through a like a, a metal tube which i, I kind of guess you are but it doesn't have any substance to it you know whereas with this it does seem to have some some substance and it does seem to have that kind of saturated wet thick vape which uh which i know i like and uh, and a bunch of other people do And it does do a grand job, so I'm very impressed with this. As far as tanks go, you know, I'm very impressed. I think I'll probably do a live show on that one at some point in time. Now then, what else have we got? Um, I have still been using the XRDA from VXV, and um, I this is going to be getting a live review probably this week, I think. Um, but uh, no, I've actually been having a jolly good time with this. I've not really. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. It's got, it's got, uh, it, it kind of has a weird air thing, which you can't tell there, but it, <laughs> it does do something weird. I haven't got any batteries in this, in this particular bassium at the minute, but um, it does have a, like a, a weird kind of disgruntled airflow. That's the best way I can describe it. It's a disgruntled airflow. <laughs> but uh, no, it's a bit weird, but I'll expand more when I do do the review. I've been testing the poo out of that one. Um, we've also, ooh, got that come in i just forgot about that one um i have been testing the uh the nada the not another dripping atomizer from uh fagan and tiger tech and uh this is i think this is going to be pretty much the final coil that goes in this as well i've got the uh the bottom airflow um uh, 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 closed off in here at the moment, and I'm just using the side airflow. Not the quietest atomizer, not the quietest atomizer, but you do get a bunch of options when it comes to how you want your airflow, which is pretty interesting. It is quite a chunky bugger as well, as you can see. It's not it's not the smallest, um, but uh, but you know it's uh, it's it's not a bad atomizer. So jobs are good. Jobs are bloody good. What else have we got going on? So was this yesterday? Did I do this yesterday? I've oversquonked. I have oversquonked on that bugger. Um, so uh, what I did was a live stream on Instagram. Instagram, I did this. And then, yes, it was yesterday. Um, and essentially what it was, it was I, I, again, had too much coffee. <laughs> and was a little bit excitable and uh, and thought i was gonna i don't and i've still not checked out stan's video to see if he's already done this one but i've got the uh, i've got the reverie and that's sitting on top of a green bassium obviously bassiumed up um but uh, i've got the reverie from uh from tenacious tx and and times vape and um what i did and let me see if i can i, I will have to i'll have to play around this is single coil rda um, but I wasn't happy with just going single coil. So obviously you've got to, you've got to mess around with things. So we've, uh, we've dual coiled it. So boom, there we go. There is a dual coil going on in there and the airflow, it just about fits in there. Two and a half mil ID coils going on in there and that fits perfectly fine. So, um, one of the reasons why I did this was because when you have this airflow, hang on, it's got, a, it's got a nipple on it. I've got to, I've got to make sure the nipple, I, I can't remember if I said this. I think I did, but Stan, can we have a nipple on both sides, please? So I've got to make sure that I twist this. Um, I'm blind. I'm blind, and I need all the help I can get. Um, what was he saying? <laughs> all right, yeah. Um, so one of the things about this is when you put your single coil in, and once again, I have got to see his video to see how he does it, but when you put your single coil in, you do have to, uh, the, the, the wick will tend to go kind of off to one side into the deck unless you can figure out a way of splitting the wick so it goes 
kind of you know like he's doing the splits um but I, I didn't really like doing that so what i decided to do is by putting two thinner coils in i could have the wick go out either side on the base and that just seems to have worked really really nicely um and so i've been having a jolly good old time with this one now one of the things that i have noticed is um if you're like me and you tend to take your top cap on and off quite a lot um, because you've got an o-ring under there it's a little bit loose that o-ring is a little bit loose but and because it's loose you get a lot of vapor you can see how shiny that is you get a lot of vapor build up under there and so when you pop your top cap back on again that can kind of add a little bit of juice just around there but you know as far apart from that apart from that and that's just that's just an o-ring problem i think this the o-ring that they've used on the oh i'm out of focus still the uh, the o-ring that they've used on that particular section is um is too small i think that i've got i have got to check with the other one in the box and find out if that's any better but um but no i mean apart from that it's actually quite a flavorful and funky little atomizer Has it convinced me? Has it moved me from horizontal coils to vertical coils? No, probably not. But that's no fault of the atomizer. I know a lot of people really, really like uh, vertical coils. Uh, but for me, I've just, I've never really got to grips with them. There's a little fly in there somewhere. Um, but uh, I've never really got to grips with them. And um, it works. It does a good job. I've got to drip in that. So far, I've just been squonking in it. So I've got to drip in it. And obviously, having a vertical coil means you're dripping directly onto the cotton. And that just, you know, saturates through the coil nice and quickly, which I think is really, really good. Um, but uh, but no, I mean, so far, it's, it's, it's doing a grand job. Uh, other than that O-ring situation, I'm not having any problems with it whatsoever. And it looks a bit different, doesn't it? It kind of, it looks... It looks, I don't know what it looks like, but it looks a little bit different. I'm using the black on both this one and the Nada. I've, I've lost it. There, there it is. Found it. I've, uh, I'm using the uh, the black ones, obviously, so I can test the black paintwork. So that's why I'm using those rather than using the, uh, the, the, the stainless ones. Now then, what else? Um, so we've got a couple of things that have come in. Now, did I show you this last week? Did I show you this last week? This came in. And just in case I, I, I didn't, I'm going to give, give you a, a quick thing. Um, I've forgotten the name of it. So anyone in chat who knows the name of this, that'll be great. Um, it's from Joytech and I, pff, Espion, Espion Silk, this thing. Now, this is, this is, pff, I, I really am interested on hearing what you guys think of uh, that kind of finish. So we've got this kind of rubbery finish going on around the uh, the outside so it makes it kind of it feels nicer in the hand but this this section all here i mean it kind of looks all right all around here around the back and stuff although it does make you think that you're going to take that off to get to the battery but this bit up here this this just is that's not pretty is it it does look like a bit of an afterthought to me but uh but no that's a that's a thing um one of the uh, one of the positives for this though is that it's super light it's ridiculously it's crazy light i think it's like a 2800 milliamp hour battery in here but it is ridiculously light so i don't know what battery is in it um but it's uh, it's pretty interesting super clicky button super clicky button going on there um and it's but it, i mean it works it's light i don't i can't remember how much this is but uh but no it's one of those things where the tank uh, yeah don't really not really into the tank to be honest with you this is kind of not as bad as some but it has that empty vibe that i was going on about earlier on So there you go. It's a it's a it's a strange one. But the mod, I can see there's a place for the mod, um, and not just for 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 uh, people with 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 visual impairment. I it, it's 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 something that I guess if you're rough on mods, you can you know you've got some kind of protection there. Now obviously, if you've got a tank on the top and it's got glass on it, if you drop the mod, that's not going to help the tank in any way, shape, or form. But you know, it's 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 it offers some level of protection. But uh, I don't know if this is going to get a review, to be honest with you. This was sent to me by UK Vapor Brands. Um, I don't know if it's going to get a review, but it's uh, it's certainly something I'm uh, I'm finding interesting to test out. Now then, and it's been working flawlessly. It's it's I've not had any problems with how it works whatsoever. Now then, what else have we got? Um, 
I've got an I've got I've got I've shared the post on uh, on on Instagram. So I, so I think I can show you this, but I can't show you anything else. Um, the drop dead. I'm not going to go into it. Not at all. Um, I think uh, I think we may a few of us may have got them um, before we should have done. So I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going to go into the uh, the the how it works or anything like that. However, what I will say is keep an eye out on Heathen and TVC's channel because it's it's uh, it's bloody marvellous. Did you hear how quiet it was? Did you, though? Did you? <sighs> Smooth. Woo, I tell you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So definitely keep an eye out on their channel because I think it's Friday that you'll be seeing some more information, maybe. I don't know. Friday or the weekend or something like that. So go and check those bad boys out because uh, I think you're going to... They, yes, I can see why they've done what they've done, and it's, it's very good, and I like it very much. Uh, now then, what else have we got? We have got this. This is the new Chroma Platinum Edition with with the Z Chroma A with the Zenith. Now then, this has got the new Plexus coils in. I think I've got the 0.5 in there at the moment, which I have. Um, it's very purple, isn't it? Um, but uh, no, it's it seems fine. <sighs> Now this 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 coil has got the uh, slightly more airflow going on, I think, with it. Um, so I've got a fair white going through. I've got a very restricted lung hit going on here. It's once again, it's a practical daily pocket mod, um, not for huge clouds, not for well. I'm not going to say not for the mouth lunging. I've not put a mouth lung coil in there yet. Um, but uh, but no, I mean it's a, it, the chroma we've seen before. We've seen this. We've seen this styling. We've seen this shape. We've seen this already. And um, it's. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty, doesn't it? With the with the with the with the matching tank. So jobs are good. Interesting filling system going on at the top there, where you just kind of twist the uh, twist the. No, hang on, that's undoing it. Wait, wait. Ugh. There we go. Where you twist that, that's now open under there now, and then you. And you I can't grip it. Hang on. And then you twist it to uh, to close up again, like that, you see? Um, easy to fill, easy to vape. Not going to set the world on fire, but it's good at what it does. That's my thing so far. So, yes, I can see this would be this would be a nice, um, nice little daily beta for people or a, uh, you know, a regular banger. Um, now, then, another thing that we do have, which is which is pretty sexy. And I don't think I showed this to you last week. And that is the I just saw someone mentioning it in uh, in chat there. This is the Vicious Ant DNA 75C Spade. And would you look at that resin? Would you, though? That is just what? That's lovely, isn't it? Isn't that sexy? That is that's that's one of the nicest resin doors I think I've ever seen. That is absolutely stunning. Um, and what we've got going on here, we've got that car. Is this the gunmetal? This might be the gunmetal sort of color going on. Um, got some juice on the back that doesn't come with the mod. Uh, spade on the bottom there, so it's not gone crazy. DNA seventy five C, and then on the side here. Now I know that some people. Am I in focus? That'll do. Uh, I know some people don't like the uh, the bright and shiny kind of surrounds to everything, but I do. I like that. That makes me happy. And I know some people are going to, you know, not be happy about it, but that makes me happy. One of the other cool things about this, look at that for a, for a, what's it called? A theme. Look at that. And that's sexy. That's cool, isn't it? Now, the only problem with this theme is that when you go through, because it's DNA 75C. Now, if I, I'm in replay mode there at the moment. So if I go to, you scroll through like you do, and um, if I want to go to variable wattage mode, I'm doing this properly ass about face. Now, when you click on the middle button, that should that will allow me now to change that to stuff. So there we go. Watts, Boom like that. But what you'll see on this theme and hopefully they'll fix it is that now I can move things up and down. Now, when I click on the middle button, normally that red bar would change to another color to show that it's in it's at a point where you can um, where you can change things about. Do you know what I mean? 
um and this one doesn't so that's that it was a little bit confusing because i thought the dna was buggered when i first got it uh it's not it's just it doesn't highlight so be aware of that if that's the sort of thing that uh that tickles your taste buds but no i mean that is that's lovely and let me let me hang you on hang hang you on a minute that's what we that's what we say here in norfolk um that is the where is it well we're done with it Come on, Dean. <laughs> there it is. Right. This is this is the. I'm doing a size comparison. If you wonder what I'm doing, that is the uh, the eighteen six fifty um, mechanical in my hand here. So that's you know that's 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 quite nice. We've not got that much extra width on it, and when we have the twenty one seven hundred, we're not far away. We are not far away at all. And in fact. Uh, where we go i mean this is the this that is the same as that but if we go if we go that way the 21700 obviously it's a wider cell so you'd expect it but that is a little bit wider on that back end same sort of size at the uh, on the button sort of side of things but um but you know a little bit wider on that back end because it has a bit of a wedge shape but uh, but no on this i've got the d pro mini going on and i've got to say i think this is a fantastic Fan bloody tastic little uh, little vape. Doing a grand job. It is doing a grand job. But no, I think that is absolutely saying it's not huge. It's 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 the size you would expect. Now, if I take off the the uh, the door there, you can see that they're not got any kind of wasted space going on in there. You've got the DNA board behind there, which you can actually see the part, a couple of parts of it on behind the battery there, which if I took the battery out, um, you've got the battery and you've got the bottle. So it couldn't really be much, much, uh, much smaller than that, really. I think, it, you know, there's a potential if you use different contacts to go a little bit thin, a little bit shorter, possibly. But no, all in all, it's bloody lovely. Now, this is gonna this is gonna uh, upset the, uh, the 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 certain group, I guess, because this is super expensive. This is three hundred and fifty dollars, I believe. So three hundred and fifty bucks, um, but it's made exquisitely. I have I've had no problems with any aspect of it, and it's been a joy to use. And let's say this resin is absolutely gorgeous. I imagine as it's vicious and they will be doing um, stab wood and all sorts of good stuff on there as well. But no, it's a gorgeous mod, and uh, and it will certainly get a review at some point. So there is there's a bunch of stuff in there. Now then, what else? Another thing, another thing to talk about. Um, I put water on my hair. I haven't kind of spiked my hair up to try and be cool. I just put a load of water on it early on because it's so hot. Um, <laughs> then, what else is there? There is, there is Bassium stuff. So, the Bassium is uh, being released on Friday. It's super, super scary. Uh, we've had two reviews go up today. We've had Ophidian Vapes, who's an up and coming um, YouTuber and doing a grand job. Really liked his video. It was he did say very many nice things about me in the, or about the mod. So that that was nice. But um, it was great to see. It's great to see somebody that doesn't have huge amounts of subscribers doing a you know doing a, a grand job, and you can see that that's going to go up. You can see that's going to grow and he's going to blow up on that. So that's that's fantastic. So thank you very much, uh, Bob, for doing that one. That's much appreciated. Um, also, we've got young Richard Vick vaping V1CK. He's put his Bassium review up today as well. So go and check that out. Um, and he kept everything in focus, which was brilliant. And uh, and I'm very, very grateful for him doing that one. I think that he, he, he got the uh, he got the, the Bassium at one point. And uh, and held it up against the the Pico two, and I think he forgot where his camera was. But but <laughs> love you really, Richard. Um, but no, it was a really good review, really nice, really nicely done. So thank you very much to that as well. Now then, to you as well, even. So if you go, if you're if you're interested in the Bassium and your local vape shop, it doesn't have it, or you're you know you're the they don't know anything about it if you go on to vapingbiker.co.uk there is a page on there now it's actually vapingbiker.co.uk forward slash the underscore bassium um but if you just go on to vapingbiker.co.uk you'll see it as one of the the uh, the, the most recent post that's gone up there click on that 
that has hyperlinks to distribution and and some retailers now that that list is growing and uh, we just have to wait for the confirmation and the orders to go through and all that sort of stuff before i can sort of flesh that out some more but that's going to have a bunch of information on there so if you do have someone or you you, you have a vape shop or whatever else and you want to get them in or you want your vape shop to get them in go across to vapingbiker.co.uk and uh, and do that fading that if you're a shop, you can email info at dovpoesig.com. Let them know, and uh, and jobs are flipping good. So that's that's all good. Now then, there was something else. There was something else. Uh, oh, yeah, also on that page, I'm also putting up all the reviews. And that's regardless of what people say, the reviews will go up on there, um, unless it's just someone that hates me and just wants to kill me. <laughs> but um, but no, they, they, I'll put a bunch of reviews there. So there will be a bunch of things all in one place. So if you go there at the minute, you'll see my um, presentation video. You'll see the behind the scenes. You'll see Todd's review, Mike Vape's review. You will see uh, Aphidian and you will see um, uh, uh, um, Richard. Uh, is there any more? I don't think there's any more. I think that's all of them. That's all of them for the time being. Although I think there are going to be some more uh, reviews coming out this coming week. So uh, they, they should be from from uh, from a bunch of people. Uh, one of the things that kind of has amused me a little bit is uh, <laughs> is the shape seems to have confused a couple of people here and there. But uh, but you know it's like I've said. I'm not going to go into it now. It's it's not what tonight's all about. Go and check out the uh, the background video if you're interested in learning a little bit more. But for me it's comfortable as you like so i'm enjoying it and thank you very much richard uh for pointing out the size of it that's very kind of you as well so um now who was it hang on i've got to check i've got a feeling that i'm missing someone out am i missing someone out i don't think i'm missing someone out am i I think Aphidian actually shared it. Bob, I think, um, did a size comparison showing that it was very, very similar in size to the Ismodus uh, Minikin V2, I think. I think it was Bob. Pretty sure it was Bob. Let's go with that. Bob, are you in chat? Was that you? <laughs> so there we go. That, whew, that is that. Now, it's coming out on Friday, like I said, and I will be, if you're, if you're in East Anglia, if you're in Norfolk, um, in Norwich, there is a shop called <laughs> Vape Industries, Vape Industries uh, in Norwich, near the Brickmakers Pub. And uh, I will be there on Friday night, on the release night, just to have a little bit of a thing. I think they're going to do a raffle and various bits and bobs, and, uh, and hopefully we can have a, uh, a bit of a giggle. Now, uh, obviously, I don't drink any alcohol, but if you do come along, feel free to bring chocolate. <laughs> Drifter bars, greatly appreciated. <laughs> right. So um, I don't think there is much else that I can that I can uh, that I can really sort of, you know, go on about. Uh, I think. That <laughs> <laughs> so, let's have Miss Todd in. Now, you see. I would love to play cards with you. You have a tell. You have a tell. It's God. really easy to spot now. You just, it's, it's that uh, you slow down, and I know that you're looking for buttons and, and where to click with the mouse. And well, it's, it's 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 that's partly it, but the other part of it is I'm starting to get very confused because I've forgotten what I should be talking about and thinking that I should be talking about <laughs> something else whilst I'm doing a, like a third thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> it does all go a little bit wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit stressful. Anyway, how are you, sir? I'm not too bad, my friend. Not too bad. Jolly good. Nice, lovely to see you. We haven't had a chat for a couple of days on... Uh, we haven't had a hangout, have we? So I've got a, a bit to catch up on, find out how you're doing, what you're up to, and all that sort of good shit. What are you vaping on this evening? Mm. Obviously... The first thing I'm vaping on nah. is going to be uh, the Skyline. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> um, I'm actually vaping on uh, the carbon fiber, not carbon fiber, uh, <laughs> bassium, and the, the the drop dead from Hell Vape. Um, and I'm vaping it at, at not 55.5, but just 50 watts. Lovely. Um and it's 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 really not shit. It's it's actually quite. I, I do. It's not my kind of RDA. I mean, I'm um, 
I really like the the Dead Rabbit SQ. It, yes, it, it suits me. Um, but I am I'm getting the same kind of vape from this as I do from the SQ, and and I like that. I yeah. really do like it. Um, and it looks kind of sexy in this gunmetal finish as well. So, and I also like the drip tip. I just like even the fact that on the drip tip they just put hell vape in and a little font there. Yes, it's yeah, just, it's it's a nice finish on it, isn't it? It's a nice kind of you know cherry on the top sort of affair. Yeah, they're, they're stun and and I like the fact that they've not just <laughs> they've not just um, given it another name. They've called it the Bob, you know. Yeah, yeah. This is as we're, this is our brand new RDA. It's called the Bob. But it's awesome. Buy it. They've actually said that you know it's it's a, an amalgamation. It's a combination of you know other RDAs yeah. and and yeah, that's good. I like that. Um. <laughs> Definitely. I, I'm really happy with it. I think it's going really well. I'm looking forward to the guys actually putting their their video out so they can they can show the world because I think it's going to be one of those things where a lot of people will probably whinge and go well, this that and the other. But at the same time, there'll be a lot of people that particularly try it and go fuck yes. Yeah. I, I mean, if I if I didn't have, I, and obviously this is just my take on it before I get shot down. Uh, this my if if I didn't have a dead rabbit SQ, I would I would go and buy this yeah uh, i think it's a good 24 mil rda I'll, 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 even though it's not my kind of thing yeah. yeah um i'm also vaping on it arrived after uh ordering one during last week's show um i have the 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 d pro mini splendid on uh, a little russian squonker um and uh, this is a tremendous rda it's good net See, you see, I told you. Would you listen to me? Would you fuckers like? <laughs> it's just, it's. I, I said this in my vlog, and I've said it on various places, but it's been the drip tips that come with it. Put a decent drip tip on there, and it's it's just as good as many high end Ladida RDAs. Yeah. You're going to get the same. The only thing I'm maybe not a fan of. It's not an issue, but. The, the squonk pin is quite tall, and if you, I think I found with putting a three mil inner diameter coil in there, you have to drop it down quite low, and it's it's not far from the the actual top of the squonk pin. Right, I uh, must admit that's not a that's not a problem I ha I've I've had, um, yeah. but um, you know I'm I'm pretty amazing. But the um, with the <laughs> the the, uh, the the thing, I mean, I think I've got a three mil coil in there now. It's just it is just keeping that. Sort of space. No, I got I got a bunch of space under there. Now you have to for the air to hit that coil properly. Well, the, the coils I use, I found I had to drop the coil right down to get decent flavour from it. I got I got a spaced one going on in here at the minute. Look, look. Uh, see, that's too high. No, it's getting the air uh, underneath it. Look, that's that's, the, that's far too high. Yeah, it's fucking spot that's on. Far too high. That's that's a professional build going on right there. Uh, no, I like that you get somebody else to build your coils for you. That's <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> um, and uh, the only other thing is, I'm vaping on a Skyline RTA on top of my wonderful second-hand purchase today, which is the Glass Make Mod. Fantastic! That Skyline has that got a brush finish to match the the glass? No, it's not. I don't actually have anything that. Oh no, do I? No, no. Oh, I do. Oh, ah, stop the boat! Stop the boat! Uh, as we see here, um, <laughs> shots fired. Um, yeah, Christoph is saying, you see, you see, there's people in chat that are agreeing with me on the coil height. Well, there you go. I just, it's Come obviously on, they're, they don't have beards either. <laughs> um, no, that's not a match either. Bollocks. Um, anyway, so, uh, I have, I have other stuff that came in. Oh, I did, um, and I know you reviewed this already, uh, but I did get the um, both of these in. DS and the 2S? Yeah. Um, Have you got the silicon bottles in those? Uh, they sent on the upgrade kit and silicon bottles as well. Splendid. Um, I've got my silicon bottle, but I've not I've not actually put it in yet. Do I, Mrs. I did get some a uh, squeezy yeah. squeezy. 
I, I, I don't know if I would say that the silver upgrade kit makes much of a difference. No. Uh, I, I would say that the the bottle does. Yeah. It yeah. really does. Uh, it really does. Definitely. Um, I don't know about the one that you've got, but what I like about this one is it's got a top cap. Yes, yes. Which I think is good. I think that's a good little idea. I mean, personally, if you're going to carry an extra bottle rather than carrying a little one, I'd just carry like a 30 mil unicorn bottle. But, you know, that's that that's a good idea because I know that some people do want that kind of vibe going on, don't they? Absolutely. Uh, but they are, once again, they're not my kind of mod necessarily. Yeah. But if I was uh, a roughy tufty, uh, I wanted something that I could beat the shit out of then I would definitely go for one because they are tough as nails. I'll tell you what else is tough as nails that I just found out. I can't I can't I can't get the cap off. <laughs> That's your yeah. Medic! I can't I I genuinely can't do it. <laughs> oh shut up phone. Um no, we'll worry about that another day. And <laughs> oh, really hurt myself. Look, look I've, I've done a boo-boo. <gasps> I know. Fucking what? Anyway, carry on. I'll 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 cope. I'll put a brave face on it. You're doing an admirable job there. I I got the um, uh, blah, 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 blah. I got the intake as well. I'm very I'm quite surprised by the intake. Yes. Um, I it's not the the, it's not the airflow and the flavour that I thought it was. I thought, I'll be honest, I thought it was going to be shit. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was going to be just another sub tank. Well, kind of vape as a sub tank, but uh, it's quite. It's not bad. It is good, isn't it? I mean, I think most people know that 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 watch me when I get a tank in, I'll throw a coil in it and see if I like it or not. Fairly early, I can tell if it's going to be something. Oh, me that I'm going to enjoy or not, and then whether I'm going to, can be asked to uh, dick around with wicking and all that sort of stuff. But with this, it just kind of works straight off the bat, and uh, and it's actually a really good, really good vape. Yes, yeah, I would like. I, I've I've not checked in the box as such. Um, I would like to put a five ten drip tip on it, uh, rather or just a narrow bore. I might have a narrow bore eight ten in here somewhere, uh, but. Um, because it's it's really not uh, even fully open. It's still got a restricted. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, it's still got a restriction to it. Yeah, yeah. It'd be cool to put on. I don't know. I can't remember if it's got a nice protruding five ten, but it'd be cool to put on the. No, it wouldn't. That's the squonk. Shut up. Carry on. Uh, no, hang on. I've just oh, hang on. Mike Vapes has just turned up. So I, 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 I said all these nice things. <laughs> ah, <laughs> God, oh, shite. <laughs> Evening, Mike. Nice to see you, buddy. Uh, is that, do, do, you reckon, do you reckon Mike Vapes is like um, Beetlejuice? If you take, if you say intake three times, there he goes. He just pops up. <laughs> More than likely, one like that. I think they have alarms that go off in the states. <laughs> uh, no, it's a good one. Well done on that one, Mike. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a really nice tank. And you know, I don't like tanks normally, so well done. Good job, sir. Good job. Um, and and that's all that I think would interest anybody here. The 510 adapter is included, says Mr. Vapes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Get, get it on it. Get get in there. I demand you, you find the box and, and put the 510 in there immediately. Oh, I did. Uh, the blah, 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 um, I've been vaping away with that. This was in my pocket today uh, when I went for a haircut and a dye job. Yep. Um, 0 0.5 like you. Um, uh, 16 watts, and like the Plexus coils and the the cloudy tank, uh, the flavour comes in quite quickly. I was quite surprised. Yeah, it didn't take a long time for the coil to bed in, which yeah. is what usually happens with Inican coils. Um, it's yeah, it's it's not bad, not bad. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, it's it's all right. I mean, I think I probably with this coil, I probably went a little bit crazy. I've got I've got this at fifteen watts at the minute, but I actually went up to twenty watts. <laughs> I tell you. Did and yours? Did yours handle that? Because mine's craps out at seventeen watts. Yeah, not overly well. <laughs> That's why it's at fifteen now. <laughs> professional reviewers here, I'll tell you. Right. Well, you got to. You got to. You got to give it some beans to find out what it does. 
I do. Did you get spare coils with you, yours? I think I got. I think I got two in the pack. Uh, I, I the got, box, but I mean, like pack separately. Yeah, I got. I just rude. Just Pretty sure um, I didn't get like that. I didn't get that. But there we go. Yeah, yeah, I got um, three boxes of coils and sixty-seven mods. Well, aren't you the popular one? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Happy days. Yeah. Anything else new in and notable, noteworthy, worth talking about? Mm, no, just um, posh shit. <laughs> anything, anything that's like to make me jealous? The skyline made me a little bit jealous. I've got to admit. Um, did you? Did I shoot the the neo the neo sixty? I saw you did that. Did you? I saw you show that off on a Facebook stream, and I can't for the life of me figure out if I like it or not. Yeah, it's um, it's it's quite small. Um, I mean, just just <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, and I hope you fall off your chair and hurt yourself. <laughs> 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 so it's no it is it's it's quite small um i did i think i said that there's part of me that wishes he'd gone for uh dna 75c but it, it would have been slightly uh, just a little bit bigger uh but he's he's done quite a good job in it so so that's um 67 mods and uh, that's the neo 60 and mm -hmm. the only other one that i've got that may interest you is the is it Con con <laughs> a Polish mod me Conkio. Don't know why you ask me. I'm like the last person. Um, it's that little RDA. Holy crap balls! That's tiny. It's a tight, a full titanium deck and titanium top cap. Um, it's is it twenty two? Yeah, it's it's very similar to the um, Derringer. No, the I don't know if you saw the you had the 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 micro the micro. I cry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it it was also a titanium deck, if I remember right. Um, it, it's kind of similar to that. It's almost got like no deck at all. Right. Um, so is it? it I, I take it with, with being that short. It's not. It's not a postal thing. It, it will have a little post or two in there, will it? It's. It does have a, a little post or two, really. Um and I, I'm sorry if, if this doesn't show up properly. Um, no, it doesn't. It doesn't show up. Oh, well, it's worth a go. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's actually cheaper than I thought it was going to be. I thought this stuff normally, like the micro BF was crazy money. And I think this is about $90. So it's it's not, it's not uh, outrageously expensive. Now, do you find with something that's that short, because one of the challenges with something that's that tiny, there's an echo going on, um, is is that sometimes if you if you suck, you get a mouthful of juice because you're so close to the coil. Do you know what I mean? Um, because I'm just using round wire with yeah. that kind of thing. No, in fact, I'm actually, I'm actually using, and I'm not saying this for shits and giggles, just to wind up. If I, if I, am I causing the echo? Not anymore. Oh, no. yeah, well, you might be. Just might be a little bit loud on your end because you're deaf. Uh, yeah. um, <laughs> because I'm I'm actually using one of those coilology, uh, mouth to lung coils. Okay. Uh, and it's just a little two and a half mil inner diameter coil and no issue because the, the, there's no deck, basically. Wait, hold on a minute. A coilology, just a round wire coilology one. No, no, it's a, a fuse Clapton type job. That's all right then. Because <laughs> that a pre-built just round wire would be spectacularly lazy. <laughs> so, but because of the the way the deck is, as as soon as you squonk, it, it just sucks all the excess just straight back out. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't get any spit back in at all. It, it's not designed for rowdy coils, put it like that. No, no. Good times. Good stuff. Right. I've, I've probably, before we go into questions, there is something that I forgot to show people earlier on. So I'm going to show you now, just because, because, well, you see, I, I, I might do. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Um, I just want to apologise to, to, to Mr. Mottram, just saying that if he'd sent biscuits, then I would be saying that I'd put in a Pilgrim Vapes coil. 
<laughs> You're a cruel man. Yeah. Right. Um, when it comes to the bassium, I told people about zap wraps, and um, there, uh, there is a, uh, there is a uh, boom. Can you see that one? No. Um, that's just that's just one of the the wraps that he's done. But there is going to be a whole mess of wraps going on. So you know, I think there will be a carbon fiber one. Although I'd said, please don't put pictures of a carbon fiber wrap on there that would be great um but um but no i mean it, it looks a nice little wrap and i like the fact that it doesn't cover the 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 the, the hole if you like on just like the inside edge of that i think that kind of gives a nice little finish to it um and it's it's such a simple mod to uh, to wrap up that you, it's it's dead easy to to throw together so um no i think that some of those wraps are going to look pretty sweet so i'm looking forward to seeing what he does with those and uh oh there we go. Um, but yes, if you go across to zapwraps.co.uk, uh, he should have those up on his site soon if they're not there already. I know no one's got the bassium yet, but they will be going up. There'll be a whole whole bunch of them. And we we, we, we might do like a, a, a proper custom one as well just for it. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, right. So will there be a skull wrap? There might be my, my skull. Um, logo but without the the piston and and mod in the background because having a picture of a different mod would make no sense at all so unless i unless i can adapt jimmy's fantastic work to actually show my mod crossed with the piston then it wouldn't make sense so yes there, there, there could potentially be a skull there what are you knocking on the door you expect someone to come in you're trying to get out what's going on huh <laughs> you went <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, you were doing the whole sales pitch thing and I just tuned out for a minute there. Ah, oh, yeah, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there's been a bunch of people asking questions, which we've uh, we, we've been talking over. So let's have a little look, see what people are saying. Uh, Pico Squeeze 2 review coming. I, I'm still unsure about it, to be honest with you. It's still, I'm, I'm not really enjoying using it. It works and it seems to do what it needs to do, but... It's not a mod that I want. Have you have you held one of these in your little handy pandies? No, no, I, I would come out in a rash. <laughs> but the thing the thing with this and and right, I, I'm going to mention the bassium, but I'm not. You know, <laughs> I didn't go with the gloss finish on any of the paint or anything like that because it feels nasty in your hand. A high gloss, like a thick gloss finish, can feel weird particularly if it's directly on metal. If it's on wood, it you, for some reason it kind of works out. But on metal, it just can feel weird. And um, and I think and this with this coating, it just I don't I just don't like it. I don't like like uh, like uh, using it overly much. So um, yeah, it's I just sorry, just just wanted to add. Uh, yes, Dean is out of sync, but there's nothing you can do about it because that's Google. That they that's just YouTube. There you go. Try refreshing your page. Try refreshing the page. See if that uh, if that um, fixes it. Um, so yeah. So I don't know. I don't. I, I probably should do. I've got a bunch of reviews because the last few weeks have been um, so so focused on getting the mod out that um, that a, a lot of reviews have gone by the wayside. So I'm going to be doing a uh, a few of the uh, of the live stream uh, reviews coming up soon. So hopefully I'm going to get those started this coming week. So it may be in there. It may not. It may. It, don't know. It wasn't sent for the purposes of review, uh, so we'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see. It was sent for just me to try and see if I, what I thought of it. Um, but there we go. Tell us uh, reviews. What well, gone? No, somebody M sixteen skill said are creme de vape a good firm for Fumesto? Yes, they are. Um, creme de vape. Oh, they've won so many awards over the years. Uh, great company. Absolutely. Go for those guys. For sure. For sure. Uh, for the top of your head, can you recommend or think of any single 21700 DNA 75C or dual 21700 DNA 250C mods? No. <laughs> uh, somebody <laughs> asked about the uh, b -b 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 the Haku Vena. Uh, if, what did I think of it? I have reviewed it. Uh, so if you're interested, yeah, there's a review up for that. There we go. Keep talking. I'm looking for something. Um, Cloud9. David, what Cloud9 for the win? Yes, that was back when they were called Cloud9. Creme de vape. Um, what else have we got? Uh, Reload X. Uh, Mr. Vape and Baker, I think you discussed that earlier, did you not? I did not. No, didn't you? Well, nope. thanks very much for listening. Um, 
someone just I... wanted to see what the uh, the Amit mouth to lung tank looked like on a uh, on a Bassium, and so that it looks like that. Gosh, what is that? Is that a fourteen mil AI? Fuck, I don't. But there we go. I think it looks quite big on there. To be honest with you. Makes the bassium look quite dinky. Um, so yes, that's that's what it looks like. Lots of space all the way around it. Boom, wallop. Uh, no, going on to that reload thing. Um, that is um, no, it's no. I I haven't got one of those. That's from that's from the people that did the original reload. I think wasn't it? And I did. I think I reviewed their very first one last year or longer ago. I can't remember. And uh, and it had this kind of pointy thing going on right on the top cap. It had these kind of lines, kind of heavily drilled into it, and they were really pointy on my little lips. Uh, but it was it was all right. But I didn't really see why everybody got super excited, and I couldn't remember if it was about that or um, a, a, a more recent version of it. But um, but no, it was all right. But no, I haven't got one to to check out or review. So I have not got one. Um, what are your thoughts on the double barrel? I really like it. I've reviewed it. Go and check it out. Go and check that review out on the channel. Uh, show the drop dead deck. No, Rick. I told you about that earlier on, my friend. I am not showing anything. That is for uh, that is for the guys to show off. So, no. Sorry. No. Um, what else we got? Toss reviews. Uh, with budget RDAs capable of rubbing shoulders with the best Lardy Dar variants, do we just buy the elitist shit because we can? I'm going to ask the man who drives the posh BMW who keeps getting it resprayed because it's got a fly on it. Uh, my, my, <laughs> my, my Bavarian wanker wagon is older <laughs> than you almost and, and cost, cost me thruppney. Probably <laughs> 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 um, a bit of coal. Those are days. That that's a fair question. It's um, he, and he's a shit stern bampot as well. Uh, you do buy them because we can. Um, yeah, you buy what you like. At the end of the day, I mean, the, uh, uh, pass. But uh, do you know? I, I, and I've said this, and you know this, and you've said it, and whatnot. You can get uh, just as good a vape from cheap atties as you can from expensive atties these days because they're all pretty much the same designs uh, they really are they're, they're all following the same yeah the one thing you will get with spending money in in a lot of cases not all but in most i would imagine is the fact of being able to get spare parts and being able to have um a strong kind of recourse should anything go wrong or break or whatever else and having that good after aftercare and customer service you know yeah, yeah, um, yeah. There's there, there's a whole there's a there's a big discussion that you could have around that. Yeah. Um, but um, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not when I'm getting. Um, when I was a lawyer, I tell you, retail law was my favourite thing. No. Um, <laughs> any review to come on the Rebel Mod Squonker uh, for both of us? No. No, there is not. Uh, I, I have reviewed a Rebel mod in the past and really liked it, um, and it was uh, it worked really nice. I no longer have that mod, uh, but uh, but no, it was a really it was a really nice mod. Really enjoyed it. Um, um, there's um, listen, you, I've I've seen all the things on the the latch for the shed. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can get. <laughs> For those of you that don't know that aren't in Todd's Facebook group, essentially he was sitting in his shed the other day and the dog put a latch down on the outside so he couldn't get out. <laughs> so TJ locked him in his own shed. That's genius. <laughs> and then he did it again today. <laughs> and so you just booted it and broke it. Can you... <laughs> I don't know if you I can't share a video, but this 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 just gives you... Will, will this show up? Yeah, showing up. Hang on, I'll put the camera on you. He's done it again. You. Yes, you. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the thing I really like about that video is he looks up at you and goes, ha, 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 fuck off, I'm going indoors. <laughs> I, had to, I had to kick the door out. <laughs> just, so I've taken a chunk out of the door just trying to get out. So but, <laughs> um, Marvellous. Yeah, he's some boy, he's some boy. Uh, listen, M16 Skills keeps going on about the Haku group. As I said to you earlier on, young man, uh, the group is open. Uh, you can request to join, but if they are running a list at this moment in time, they will not add you. They will wait until the list is finished and everybody has got their slot, and then they'll add everybody after that. So that that's possibly why they haven't added you just now. There you go. Boom. Wallop. Answered. Tell you. Consumer information, you come to Vaping Biker, we'll sort you out. Um, now, I'm just going to do a monster scroll up because there were a bunch of questions going on. I'll answer uh, Julian. Uh, Todd Reviews, is the Nemesis any good? Uh, yes, the Nemesis is still one of the, it's a granddaddy. It's a fantastic mech. However, uh, I wouldn't recommend it for builds under 0 0.3. Or be maybe even zero point five, zero point three. Yeah, that um, makes sense. If you're going anywhere near that, then change out the spring for magnets as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, just to to highlight, in case people have forgotten, just if you've got questions, start them with at vaping biker or at Todd's reviews, and then if you can, pop the question all in capital letters. We won't get upset thinking you're shouting at us. This is the one time where it's actually useful for that to happen. So please, please do that. That would be splendid. Thank you. Now then, well, so much good. TJ, a lecture about locking a dumb animal in the shed. <laughs> Not safe at this time. <laughs> 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 Dominic, you're a very bad person. <laughs> um, is the Kennedy worth ninety quid? And um, the Kennedy was a was a was a ban. I mean, are you talking about the full setup there, or just the RDA? If you're talking about just the RDA, then I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, but it used to be the business. It used to be the bomb back in the day with that bottom airflow going straight under the coils. We didn't really have much doing bottom airflow at that point in time. Um, but uh, but there you go. Have you seen Ken's slow mo video on wrapping alien coils? Might tickle your fancy. I've saw you seen Twisted Messes um, and M Turk doing some uh, some stuff. Yes, yes, actually, yes. Twisted Messes, um, Kent. Uh, I saw his uh, his wrapping video. It's very very good. And also they've done another one where they're just firing the crap out of some aliens and making them melt, which is uh, which is pretty damn impressive as well. Uh, vape and bike of a Todd because he doesn't pay attention to his tag. Any product from you coming? RDA, mate. People want us to make RDAs, but where's yours, Todd? I've got a mod nailer. I've had to work. Where's yours? Never happen. <laughs> <laughs> Never happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what have we got uh, Todd's reviews I enjoy the Flav 22 mil and Chroma for squonking uh, I am offering a Haku offered no he was uh, right okay has been offered a Haku Cruiser Titanium Black for 160 euros would you recommend from your vaping perspective I did watch your review three times so basically is a Haku Cruiser better than the 22 mil Flav or the, I guess it's called the Chroma, the KRMA. Um, the, just call it the Karma. The, oh. It's the, the Haku Cruiser. Um, the Haku Cruiser has more air, slightly more air than the Karma, a little bit more than the Flav, but um, that's about it, really. Uh, you will get a comparable vape from it. If you want slightly more air, then yeah, the Haku's 160 euros for a Haku, though. Bloody hell. Seems What's that? Sorry, it's a titanium black. Uh, you know, it's not, it's a good atty. Don't get me wrong, the haku is very good. Yeah. Hmm, there you go. Um, <clears throat> uh, is one of you guys going to review some stuff from Beastia Mods? No, I've got no plans to. Not for any reason other than the fact I've never tried anything from Beastia Mods. Have you, Mr. Todd? Um, uh, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, vape and biker what are your thoughts on the hussar and cavalry i have no idea what either of those like the hussar i've heard of but i don't know what the other thing is i am not the right person to ask that question to well cavalry where hussar um 
that I'm not going to. My my grandfather was a hussar. He, he was in the cavalry, uh, so that's the only reason I know that. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. <laughs> um, what's the cost of the bassium? Uh, it is in America, which uh, spring vaping Yuga girl. Are you a, are you an American person? Um, in America, it'll be seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents. In the UK, it'll be fifty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. So there you go. That's that. Uh, have you learned anything about reviewing, spending all this time with vaping biker? Asked Dave Smithson. Uh, I have an answer for that. <laughs> um, Moving on. Is that a Bassian blue T-shirt that you have on? It's a blue T-shirt that kind of almost matches, but it's not quite light enough. So, no. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. How much for the Bassium in the United States? Covered that one. Are Evolution going to stock the Bassium, mate? Yes, they are. As I said earlier on, if you go to vapingbiker.co.uk, it will start filling up. It's got Evolution vaping on there. It's got um, uh, Vape Industries on there. I don't know if I've got any other UK retailers on there at the minute, but there is a few UK distros on there. So that I, I'm, I've, I know of about four other shops in the UK that are going to have it for sure at the minute. Um, but I'm sure that's going to, uh, to, 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 to blow up seeing as the Bastion is going to be the biggest mod of 2018. Um, what calls are you using? You the deep Prime Min what? You said it. <laughs> it is the biggest mod of 2018. You can get wrapped. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what coil are you using in the Deep Pro Mini? At the moment, I am using a uh, a space stainless steel coil, twenty six gauge, uh, because spaced over three mil. Because I uh, because I can. Uh, but now I'm using I'm using the replay function, so that's why I've got that going on in there at the moment. Uh, what else have we got? Anything else for Mister Todd? Uh, what coils do you normally use? Asks Archie. For me, I've made a video on that Archie, so you can go and check that out with my uh, with my Claptons. Uh, you are you still a twenty seven gauge man, or are, are we kind of moving you to more of a full time Clapton user? I it, no, it depends on the the RDA or the RTA, but it's it's normally twenty four gauge to twenty six gauge these days. What? Just E one cancel. Fantastic. I like that. Have you finished Lost in Space yet? Asks Alex. I haven't. I have. No, we've got to the point where the the the, the girl or the whatever it is, the child pushes the or makes the robot go off the cliff and gets smashed to smithereens. And then it all got a little bit emotionally disturbing. So we we, we haven't managed to, to, you know, pull ourselves together enough to, to carry on watching. <laughs> it was mostly it was very upsetting. Um, <laughs> at Todd's Reviews, any suggestions for a tube for the skyline, if not the nemesis? Uh, looking for something small, maybe 18500 or 18350. The build I use is a 0.5, so no real safety issues. Oh, just oh, that's all. Oh, there's if you're not a member of SV, then I would suggest going along there and having a look because there's quite a few people that will uh, give you advice on that. Do you know? I would I would go back. I would go back a couple of years and look through some of the make reviews. Uh, go but even go back two three years and some of the eighteen five hundreds, eighteen three fifties that are out reviewed back then you can pick up for pennies now and you know put one of the current 18350 18500 batteries in uh because i mean what is it the new 18350s you're getting 1100 ma from them totally the wrong person well you can't which is which is brilliant compared to what we used to get uh the only didn't, they used to, didn't the 18350s used to be like 800 ma yes see see Ah, you're doing well, you're doing well. You. Um, I mean, the only ones 18350s I have would be an Anatolian and a Templario. That's the only 18350 mix I still have. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, what else we got going on there? Uh, um, any recommendations for cheap vertical build RDAs except for the Umie VLS? Uh, less than forty dollars. Yes, the 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 reverie from um, from uh, Times Vape and, and Tenacious TX TX Tenacious ten, Stan. There you go. What up? Uh, what else have we got going on here? Oh, Mister Motram's probably made a fun. A hey, Motram, tell ya, tell ya, we'll fall out. 
<laughs> any more news about hoodies and t-shirts for the larger person dominic i would love to have said yes and i promised this ages ago but um because i've got to find an entirely new supplier after my last one decided to tell me that they couldn't where where would the, I, I got a new supplier got the got the hoodie checked it made it made sure it was fine it's brilliant all good and gravy so then a couple of weeks ago i went right well we're going to get them on board and doing everything else um and then turns out no they couldn't they couldn't do what we needed to do so i've now got to go back to square one to try and find another supplier for everything which sucks balls so no it's a it's a, if i was just going to go out and buy a bucket load of them and sell them then it would be no problem but because i have to find direct to garment printers that will they'll do kind of you know one offs as per ordered then uh, then it makes it a gigantic pain in the dick gigantic and i have to try and include it in the website as well um Although the T-shirts, depending on you know how cuddly you are, the uh, the T-shirts are coming out a little bit larger these days, which is always nice. Um, how did Dolphpo feel when you first said you wanted to use recycled cardboard? They were absolutely open with it. They were very happy with the idea. So I was surprised. I thought I might have to put up a little bit of a fight because it's different from a lot of kind of manufacturers over there with what they they'd want to go for. But no, they were they've been brilliant. They've been brilliant every step of the way. So there we go um is that a spade dna 75c yes um and yes it's very good there we go boom um uh, i don't know if it's as good as as anyone else's because i haven't seen i haven't watched any reviews on it so that's that um dave smithson Toz reviews glass gus atomon vg what i'm assuming you probably know what that means uh, I've, uh oh yeah it's the different makes of 18350s ah right okay then. cool Cool. Uh, chaps, what would you recommend I get for my first RDA? So many of them now are so easy to build and very, very good. Depends on how you how you vape. But to be honest with you, that's why we do reviews, because you, we could we could sit here for the next 20 minutes and rattle off decent RDAs that worth going out and buying. Um, but there, there, there's a lot of really, really good ones now. So just go and check out just a crap ton of reviews. Most reviewers will have an RDA playlist. So go and check those out and see uh, see if uh, see what, what sort of fits your, fits your vaping style, fits your pocket, and looks easy to build. Most people will show you a build in it and show you how to build it. So do that one. And that's, that's trawling the internet is the best way of going. It's like asking which is the best burger or which is the best beer or whatever else everyone's going to have their own entirely different types of uh, opinion on that one um jameson are you still mixing diy not as much as i'd like to i do need to go out and uh, and buy so and uh, get a load of concentrates but i didn't talk about juice earlier on and uh, and I, I actually went to evolution vaping and bought some i spent spent money on juice um because i've got a sale on and this is nice this is called crusher um peach and apricot i did put a thing on <laughs> I put a thick mark. You know uh -huh. when you go. You know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the greater public. I'm going to ask people what to what to go out and buy, and that's going to sort me out. And jobs are given. I will buy whatever a bunch of people collectively tell me to go out and buy. So oh, I'm you don't. You, you don't want to do that. No, no. Well, no. I, I thought I'd do that. You see, and I, I put it on Instagram and on my Facebook page, and it turns out that I think on my Instagram there's like a hundred and something posts. And I'm pretty sure not one single juice was duplicated. <laughs> so it didn't help me out in the slightest. Anyway, right. Um, so we've got this uh, this crusher stuff, which is uh, peach and apricot. I've got a bit of coolada in there, but it is very nice indeed. We've got this stuff. Now this, I told this to my uh, patrons the other day. How much does that look like? That should be on the outside of a strip club somewhere. <laughs> Oh, that's like something from Tales of the Unexpected. <laughs> all, right, all right, mate. Yeah, go in there. No touching the girls, will you? All right, lovely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is called Humo, Peaches and Dreams, um, and is is quite pleasant. But the other one... Oh, I've actually had their range. Uh, we used to sell them in the shop, I'm sure, and they are very good liquids. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I did this last one is just some Vaptasia at Pineapple Express. I had this ages ago when Vaptasia sent me some, but it's actually a really nice bright and perky pineapple. So, boom, there we go. Uh, but, no, I do need to mix some more. I mixed up some <laughs> – you'll like this, Mr. Todd. Uh, I mixed some of this. I mixed 30 ml of uh, Twister, which is a Dark Star 
uh, single shot thingy. Um, so I mixed that and thought, lovely old job. I then I then popped it on my coils and thought, well, I can't really taste anything. What's going on there? Uh, then realized that this is a 60 mil bottle. So <laughs> I mixed it for 30 mil, but I had 60 mil. Yeah, anyway, <clears throat> so I just free poured some stuff in there. So we'll wait and see what that's like. But um, I'm hoping to go on to... Uh, Fresh's show on Saturday, so I, that's going to force me to do some mixing. But I really need to try and remember to get some more concentrates tomorrow. Um, uh, Tosh Reviews, I saw a 26350 battery earlier. Have you heard much about them? 26350? Never. Nope. Nope. Go and see uh, Mr. Mooch before purchasing, I, I would suggest. Um what else have we got going on here? You never did a follow-up to No Frills Mills in the US. What do you think? Uh, to be honest with you, I, uh, I I was I was going through it again. I it, it was on my door. It was on my juice door for for ages, and that's why it's this really kind of rich color we've got going on here. But uh, but no, it's uh, I got into it again recently, and I've gone through a fair whack of it. It's uh, it's quite nice. It's quite pleasant. As far as really, as, really nice custards. Yeah, that's what that one is. This one is the uh, just the plain vanilla custard, and it's it's a it's a decent little custard. The the, the bourbon bourbon and custard is delicious. Yeah, yeah, it's really really nice. Um, Definitely. Um, has either you or Mark seen pictures of the mini KO from Chris Scott? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> job done uh which is the best vape review channel that'll be todd's Point reviews, reviews. <laughs> well, uh, uh, gave you a shout out then stop your whinging about it later on at the end Wait, of oh hang on did he say t in 2013 i don't know i wasn't or, really or, paying attention. Or, currently, or was that current best one or? it was Motram, so i didn't pay attention to the question and i thought i just contractually had to say you <laughs> <laughs> I got. Have you actually seen Chris's the wee mini KO? Uh, no, I haven't. No. Uh, he's going for. Uh, it's tiny. I mean, really tiny. But it's got like uh, the exposed battery mm -hmm. uh, on the back. Um, it's going to be a nice six fifty. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm sure that'll be at uh, at, at Vape Fest for those people going there. Hey. Yeah, I think he'll bring one with him, but I don't think he's going to have any ready because uh, he's got the 75 CKOs and some of the clickers. Okay. Is that, it's the same height as a clicker. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's a pretty, pretty dinky little thing then. Um, not Chunder, any updates on the Bonza 1.5? Wrong person, too much of a beard. Um, and not Australian enough to be able to answer that question, I'm afraid, my friend. Uh, try Wick Liquor Boulevard. Wick Liquor Juice is lovely. Uh, Mrs. Vape and Biker is horribly addicted to Boulevard. I'm more of a deja voodoo man myself. Um, all the Baker's Fog range on Evolution is amazing. Okey Koki, good to know. Uh, what else have we got? Kerno flavors, check them out. Oh, we've got loads of juice suggestions now, that, and literally none of them are going to uh, thing me jig. Um, What's your favourite concentrate brand? That depends entirely on uh, what flavour it is, because like Capella's really good for some, Flavor Art's good for some. It it changes. It just completely changes depending on what's going on. Um, Sean Toop, no, no, no. Todd's not still stuck in the shed. It's, he's all good. He's managed to escape. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, have you mixed honeycomb custard? No. There we go. Answers that one. Uh, but, uh, you don't have to give us the, the suggestions for juice. Much appreciated. Thank you for seeing as nobody's duplicating them. It's not going to. I've got I've got like ninety mil to go. Through. No, hundred and hundred and sixty mil to go through before I have to worry about it. Uh, or more than that, actually. Um, Todd, have you seen the USV Mac ON three? And are you going to review it? That's an interesting one. Have you seen that squonker? It's a dual battery squonker. I've seen it. it. It looks like it's using the the old Kangar setup. No, it one that, doesn't. No, the the bottle. The oh, with the bottle. Yes. Oh, maybe I don't. I don't know about that. Cool your jets. Um, which Wismake also pinched, and basically everybody else pinched because it's a, it's a very good set. I'm sure it's got the. Oh no, I can't show you because I broke that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's got that same system. You know when you. You pull the bottle down, it's got the long tube and it's got the little clear bit. You yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. I'm sure it's got that at the back. Um, but 
It looks yeah, like they, a quite sort of tall square thing. I bet no one calls that one a brick. Yeah, it looks massive. I wouldn't touch it. Um, <laughs> and they they have asked, and I, I I think I was having a conversation with them about um, about reviewing it, but they wanted it reviewed in a certain time frame that I couldn't stick with. So um, I don't know if I'm still going to get one or not. To be honest with you, I might do, and if I do, you'll you'll get a review for it at some point. Faux show. Um, Looking at a mouth to lung setup with a Saver RTA, Lost Vape DNA 60. Um, yeah, yeah, the, uh, the Lost Vape DNA, that little Lost Vape DNA 60 was a cute little bastard, wasn't it? E petite. Yes, yes, that was great. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, what else have we got? Anything for Mr. Todd that I haven't seen? Uh, aside from the usual uh, taking the piss questions, um, I'm not installing a Todd flap in the shed door. Um, M16 Skills is asking if the Flave 22 is worth the money. Not a clue. Never used the 22. I only used the 24. Um, there you go. Uh, Paul Sykes says, if you had a thousand sheets, what would you buy and why? I would probably buy an extra washing machine to go through them all. <laughs> really? <laughs> that. You see, that's that's just not the caliber that I expect. I mean, I keep saying to you, there's other shows I can go on. Well, I, I'd, I'd I'd need to watch a lot of them because I'd be playing ghost dress up a lot. <laughs> Ooh. Um, <laughs> um, but I wouldn't be buying vape gear with a thousand dollars pounds. <clears throat> I know that one. Um, <laughs> what else have we got going on there is there any more for any more happening um nothing else going on at the moment fair enough good so let's have a little look about we've been going an hour and a half now so we can think about wrapping up shortly what have you got to review in this coming week i have got um get... <laughs> i just got the evil eye <laughs> <laughs> i just got the the, the Deccan comes out the back of the house and I can just see it just out the corner of my eye. Right. Cam just came out with her, her arms folded and just gave me the look. <laughs> um, it's what... Um, do you know, I, I really... I I don't know. I think I'm going to rattle through the, the DS stuff, the Defiant Design stuff. Yeah, I've, I've already recorded the changing over to the silver contact kit i've already recorded that because i thought since i was doing it anyway um other than that i have not a lot i've not i've not had anything long enough really to to record i had so much stuff come in today yeah that um yeah i'm kind of struggling kind of <laughs> struggling <laughs> But um, but nobody cares how long you've had something for. I could just oh hey no safe zone breathe. I could just do yeah yeah no I'm not going to go down that road. <laughs> anyway, um, I could I could I could review the Bassium again. Yeah, you could do a proper job of it next time. Yeah, I was going to say that myself. <laughs> I was actually going to say that. Um, but um, no, I'm not going. No, I'm not going to do Bassium jokes. What are you going to do this week, my good friend who makes the awesome mod? Uh, I am going to... <clears throat> I'd like to do a video just to show and tell on this fine mods because I like it so much. I've been using it a bunch and um, it won't be a review as such because it's like a, it's a custom mod. So um, it's while it's something you can, you can get Matt to make for you, um, it's not like a production product that he makes. So um, I might do a, a show and tell video on this, like a, a, a very pretty sort of five, 10 minutes or something on that um <clears throat> i've got to get a bit of a horse throat what's going on there i will be i'm going to do a live review i think for the v the the x rda from vxv because this is the one with that screw top airflow adjustment thing we jig um so uh we'll give we'll probably give that a go and uh, and see how we we get on with that one and fingers crossed my cameras haven't been doing silly things recently when i've been doing uh my patreon streams so i'm hoping that i can get through a whole live review without it going horribly tits <laughs> that'd be nice um <clears throat> now that uh the uh the reverie isn't isn't uh able to to get reviewed yet i think i've still got some well i still have some more coils to go into the uh the 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 nada so we'll see how we get on with that one. But no, I mean, I'm uh, yeah. Um, 
I don't know whether I'm going to do a separate video for the 21700 spade, seeing as I've already done uh, the, the 18650 spade, or whether I, I bung, bung this one in with the DNA 75C once I've tested that one thoroughly. So we'll see how we get on. Um, uh, no, otherwise, I think, I think uh, I, I'm going to make up as I go along. Yeah, cool. I've just realized something. Yeah. There is no Westworld tonight, and I don't know what I'm going to do with myself once I get out of here. Watch Lethal Weapon. I um, know, because you recommended it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul Hewitt says, is your shed near your neighbours? Um, yes, they're just over there. And this week's album is, is still Pink Floyd The Wall. I'm on the second vinyl now um uh david march from vape maker says uh vape and maker todd reviews best way to disguise graying at the temples i i i'm all for it i mean i i kind of i'm going gray here i'm going gray here a little bit but keeping my hair short does that and uh, and i don't need a sharpie so yeah uh, i i what's the next question <laughs> 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 I noticed on your live stream today that on your right hand side, that line looks spectacular. That's very, very Lego like. I like that. That's I like very, that. It's a very I, tidy coloring job. I have what I do is I have a sheet of A4 paper with this cut out. <laughs> but I kind of hold that up to my face like that, and I just paint around here. And and it, and it's it's. I thought nobody had noticed. I really thought nobody had noticed. Um, <laughs> I, lo I love it. See, I couldn't dye my hair purely because the beard is getting more and more grey in it now, and I've got way more grey than than I had pre bassium stuff. So now the 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 worry and the stress of doing of doing a product has made shit go. This this is getting ridiculous now. This grey streak here, but you're not going to see it on camera. But like here. I've got the whitest hairs ever. Just and this is really annoying because like when guys get old, you're supposed to get like temples go they go grey. And then you know your beard is supposed to start in the middle. So it starts grey here and then just goes grey out. And that would look cool as fuck. But my face, I don't know whether it's because my face is on the piss, but I've got like this line here, which isn't central, but it is in line with this. So I've got grey going on here. What, what the fuck's that about? That's that's just <sighs> It's mortifying. Plus, when men dye their beards, it, it looks a bit odd a lot of the time. <laughs> so, Jesus says, Todd's Barnet, I believe that colour is autumn sunset. It's not. It's just because my colour balances out in all my videos. That, that's, <laughs> it's just, uh, that, that's what's wrong with it. Um, <laughs> the, the, Mason asks, have you seen the Hog V4? What RDA does it come with? I have not seen it, and I don't know. Sorry, can't answer that one, buddy. I wasn't ignoring you, but uh, but there you go. Uh, Dean, you're rocking the Badger. No, well, I would be if it was central. I'm not. I'm kind of, you know. Um, my beard is grey either side. Well, at least you're symmetrical, Mark. At least you're symmetrical. That's not you, Mark, but that Mark. Um, you know, well done on that one. Um, my beard's getting longer in the massive grey as well. That's, uh, that's good. Uh, look up a YouTuber called Cosay. Um, then you know what a white streak in a beard is like. Last time, like a friend of mine, Zex Beard, no, what is it? Sat on my butt reviews. Um, is is <laughs> <laughs> he's a really good guy, and he does he does a bunch of beard oil reviews and stuff. Really nice chap. I saw that his his uh, his intro for him a while ago, um, and he's he's the chap I told you about before that had his his um, uh, 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 YouTube account just shut down out of nowhere, just yeah. done, and then and then it came back like three months later out of nowhere without telling him. So that was that was fun, um, but um, no, he's he's done a bunch of uh, of of. Uh, of reviews but when i was looking for a review on a specific beard oil there was there was a guy now this is going to sound like possibly a little bit dodgy but there was a guy with a fantastic just an amazing beard and a real kind of hipstery haircut but the guy must have been in his 50s but was possibly one of the best looking human beings i've ever seen in my life and that just made me feel shit about myself no it wasn't you <laughs> <laughs> You 
I mean, no, I just heard TJ. Yeah, I think TJ's outside bashing at the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, right, there we go. I don't think there is anything uh, rocking the grey patch and the faux hawk. Uh, there we go. No, you see, it's not. It's just me just because I put a load of water on my hair earlier on. That's, that's what it is. Um, I think we're done. I think we're done. Mr. Todd has to go in the house so he doesn't get castrated by his wife and the dog doesn't look in the shed again. Um, and I think that's uh, I think that's probably probably good enough. What do you reckon? Got anything that you need to say, Mr. T? I, I, do you know what? I don't even... I have zero insults for you. I can't even think of anything to take the piss out of you about or or, or anything. I find that very hard to believe. And and I feel, I feel like I've let people down. <laughs> I think people count on me just to to give that little bit, you know, of nothing. Oh, you're making me want to change the thumbnail for this video that's going to be on it. I'm not going to. Oh, now you remind me. I've just <laughs> thought of lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> right now, then, are we gonna are you gonna play this out? Can I get a night off? I'll, 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 I'll go for it. All right. I'm going to say thank you to people first. So, you know, calm yourself down. Uh, well, yeah, I've got, you've got to do the buy your raffle tickets here thing. Absolutely. So thank you very much for joining us. If you've reached this part of the Monday Night Live show, thank you for so much for sticking all the way through with us. As always, please leave any uh, comments down below. Make them nice. They make them nice. I don't want my grandmother crying because, you know, nasty internet's calling her grandson a, a knobber again. Um, but um, I haven't got a grandmother really. She's dead. Um, but um, <clears throat> but say nice things. It's always nice. But if you've got any questions or comments, if you've got any of the products we've mentioned tonight, let us know what your thoughts are on them down below. If there's anything that you want us to talk about in an upcoming show, let us know on that one as well. It's always nice to get a little bit of content and make sure that you guys are all happy. So please do um, interact. Let, let's, let's have a conversation. Let's make a thing. Let's go all Philly D about the whole situation. Um, but otherwise, if you want to support the channel, we do have Patreon where I do unboxings um, for, uh, for some of the tiers whenever stuff comes in uh, but also there is the paypal there if you do want to support uh, just as a one-off but thank you very much for everybody and thank you so much for all of the positive uh, stuff i've had about the uh, about the bastion there's been so many really nice comments that it's uh, it's 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 made me feel rather, rather special and fluffy inside now then there is merch on vapenbiker.co.uk right then what are you doing what are you laughing at you know, I hear that. Oh, uh. <laughs> let him in, you miserable bugger. I, no, I can't. I can't. People uh, want to see TJ, and just it's, it's, it's the, the back door to the house has just been left open, so he's, he's obviously wound car up to hell. So he's, he's just, <laughs> that's why you got the stink guy, yeah. right. Anyway, um, as I mentioned earlier on, vapenbiker.co.uk uh, to go and check out all information about the Bassium and to see all of the uh, review videos as they go up. So there's a few on there now. Go and check them out if you so wish. But otherwise, let's put the camera on Mr. Todd. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. He's going to be rocking the Bassium. Let's get that client going and uh, and uh, let's have it. Right. Are you ready? The Bassium. This shit's so good, it'll turn your hair black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right then.